Hey there, what is going on? This is Rob from Panther Vision and I want to show you the difference between these techniques. You can see like three hearts, but there are like three main techniques. Then you can execute this and you get totally different results. They look the same, uh, but if you see uh, more, you know, you, you check it more, you're going to see like there's like big differences. So the thing is, this one is made with 3D. Uh, this one is made with uh, the blend tool. And this one is made with uh, Distort and Transform. So with all these three tools, you basically get uh, way different results. So it's incredible. Uh, in one of my videos, I showed you how to do it with, uh, you know, what, what are the differences between the Bland tool and the Distort and Transform tool because they are similar. And then you can check this out also, the 3D, that uh, it's in perspective and here it's like really thick and it's getting thicker how it's getting uh, you know scaled down in the blend tool it's really not the case uh everything uh basically stays in the center so it creates a different effect and style and uh, of course in the distort and transform tool it's a little bit 3d it's a little bit in perspective but uh you know, it also feels like bland, but it's not necessary too extreme to be like 3D like this. And now I'm going to show you how to make that, uh, you know, this one, how to achieve this. And of course, if this is not finalized yet. It needs to be corrected and all that stuff. But uh, yeah, let's do this. Uh, the first thing you need to be in stroke, uh, make sure you swap this. So right now you can see we're on the stroke. If you have some fill color, then click on none. So it's unselected. Select the pen tool, it's right here, or located right here. And uh, let's draw, wait a sec, this is not the pen tool, this is the pen tool. Anyways, let's draw the first heart. And also I'm gonna apply uh, this, uh, reflection effect so go to object click on repeat and click mirror so this option it's only available on the latest adobe illustrator so otherwise you won't see this so make that in mind to update your adobe illustrator to get this option okay i'm gonna click on mirror this way you can uh, mirror everything uh go to the direct selection tool right now and uh you can adjust and the anchor points and the handles of the anchor points to get a smoother heart eventually i'm thinking to so as you can see like it's not that easy to create a heart so i'm also thinking to make it this way but uh i want to make i want to show you with that uh edgy kind of approach I don't know if I'm going to achieve this, but uh, man, first it was like so difficult to achieve it anyways. So it, it should be something like this. I'm gonna bring this more here. I'm gonna make it a little bit sharper. I don't even know. But the main idea is also you can bring it to the left. So it's going to cut off. Yeah, this could be good. This should be good. I'm gonna do the same way here modify a little bit here so yeah until you make a nice heart it's gonna take a little bit more yeah that's this pretty good okay and this is the heart after this so basically you can expand it but uh, you know adobe just came up with the idea so you go to the object go to repeat and release and then Basically, this is when it's gonna happen. It's gonna leave you with uh, half of the heart. So from here, I'm gonna go to, sorry, not this long, press on this, select the reflect tool, press and hold alt, and click somewhere around here. I click on this anchor point, okay? And check vertical and press copy. And now I also am going to intersect these a little eventually. And I'm gonna unite these. Click on this, unite, and click on this also, and I'm going to cut these off. Shift plus M, you select this right here, the Shape Builder tool. You press Shift, and shift I mean Alt, Shift plus Alt, and you can do it like this. You can cut it out. I'm going to unite them. 
created some unnecessary anchor points right there but we're making it fast right now and uh, okay what i want to do is so we got the form uh this is the heart now i'm gonna make some lines so i'm gonna swap this back to fill i'm gonna select right here this the rectangle tool and i'm gonna make some lines I'm gonna press and hold Alt, drag it, press Shift also, and take this little eyedropper tool. Just click here, select the white, or you can select it from here, doesn't matter. Select both, press and hold Alt, drag it, press also, also Shift, and now you just press Control D until it creates some nice copies. Uh, I also want to end this with uh, a black line. So I'm going to position this here. So it end, starts and ends with black. Right click, group, go to the symbols. If you don't have the symbols, go to the windows and select symbols. It's right here. And just drag and drop here. You can rename it however you want it. So I'm going to click OK. And as you can see, it created a little plus there in the center that indicates that's a symbol. I'm going to put it here. And I'm going to create a 3D effect of this. Uh, I also wanted to recolor this to white. So I'm going to see the interior more easier. Go to effect, 3D, extrude and bevel. Okay. Now we're going to go and select top. What's going on? I'm going to increase the extrude depth. Oh, not that top, front. Okay, now we're good. So I'm gonna increase the depth. You can't see anything, but the main idea is to put it in perspective. So I'm gonna increase it to 160. This is the maximum. From here, I can increase it more and more and more. And also you can position a little bit the rotation, I mean the angle. Let's say I want to, whoa, that's wild. So I, I uh, distorted this uh, a lot. So Ooh, look at that. Now oh, this is crazy. Okay, so I'm going to eventually remove some of the distortions so it doesn't make that crazy. But anyways, I'm just going to add more and more. See what's gonna happen if I, yeah, 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 something like this is better. I'm just gonna add some more numbers until it starts to get a little smaller, like that. And now we go to the map art and try to, of course, I'm gonna check also the invisible geometry. I won't, it won't show anything anyways. The main idea is to select here the interior parts. For example, this is that. I'm gonna select the this one i think it's in the other side so yeah it's it's on the back so that's why you don't see it so i'm gonna clean it it's not the third i'm gonna check here no it's outside and i'm gonna clean it so it should be somewhere around here i think uh, also this is the outside part but uh you just need to test it. see this one is in the interior part i'm just gonna scale to fit and voila we got the effect just go on and oh i think these are right the center points i'm gonna also add on these and see what happens scale to fit scale to fit boom there you go and i don't even know what what is going to happen because i didn't saw that before scale to fit and again select and scale to fit all right i'm gonna click ok and click OK again. And this is how you achieve this effect. So yeah, I can see these two, uh, they just replace it with the lines. So as you can see here, I had an empty space going on. So that was those lines that I didn't pay attention before. So yeah, anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, don't, for don't forget to check out the other videos as well. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and have a good day. Bye bye.